Hi there, my name is Nick Marchese. Welcome to another Cloudastic Google Workspace video. Uh, today we're gonna highlight the uh, major updates that came out in December 2024. Uh, every month Google comes out with lots of different updates um, and we try and sift through all of those to figure out what will be the most relevant for you. Um, in December, there weren't uh, a ton of updates uh, that we felt like were noteworthy enough to share with you all today. But we do want to go over a couple that we thought were really interesting and really exciting. Um, and we have uh, a bunch of things we think are going to be coming down the pipe in January. So make sure you come back and check out that video. All right, so the first one is going to be with uh, Google Chat. So as we all know, the Google Chat um, environment has been continuously built out over the last year or so. Um, with more and more things being in there, both with direct messages and spaces, um, with both voice messages and video messages, uh, Gemini being integrated, all of those things. Um, this update allows you to uh, upload multiple multimedia files into a single message. So you can see the little screenshot here where there's a bunch of different photos from a hiking trip, um, all in one space instead of having it be a long trail of images that take up a whole bunch of information. So. Uh, this is a nice little, a nice little update, but nice, and could, but a nice, uh, simple one to consolidate and make your Google Chat experience a bit more uh, seamless and concise. The next couple are all actually going to be about Google Docs. So I'm going to go through a couple of the updates. We'll do a quick demo and show you what those look like. So um, in this one, we uh, we touched on this a little bit last time, uh, but the Google Docs now has 40 new great templates that are built into this. So. Um, there used to be a couple of built-in templates into the, just the general gallery, and you could always bring in templates from outside sources, but um, they really uh, beefed up their game with templates here, um, and I've already used these a bunch. And what's great is they also leverage the new Google Docs tabs uh, functionality. So um, one of these templates might have a bunch of different tabs depending on the topic. So for a business plan, right, it might have uh, a proposal, a strategy, a timeline, all that stuff, all in different tabs. Uh, we'll show those off in a few minutes. Um, another way is the uh, expansion of building blocks. So building blocks uh, have been around for a little bit of time and they've been slowly expanding. Building blocks are just uh, kind of like little recipes of ways to go ahead and do things uh, or insert things quickly in different contexts. And really they uh, leverage the smart chip functionality as well. Um, so there's a bunch of different building blocks now um, that you can go ahead and quickly get started and just click. Um, here's a little bit of an overview of a couple of different ones. Um, and what's great is they're also categorized, which is really helpful. So you can see if it's for my meetings, if this is for communication, this is for our team uh, meetings, whatever it is. Um, so building blocks are really great. We'll show you where to find that too. Um, and then uh, the other one is being able to fully stylize a document using Gemini. So if you're utilizing Gemini, um, you can now create a fully stylized doc. So in this example, we have a prompt here, uh, create a roadmap for an AI powered coffee machine based off of, uh, and then you can add your little chip of your brainstorming notes document. So that way Gemini is gonna leverage those notes to go ahead and build out that um, doc. And then here's a screenshot of what that could look like, um, right? So you've got the nice little banner at the top as well as um, Gemini's response for that roadmap and that being uh, personalized based off of your Google Doc notes that you also integrated into that. So let's look at some of these Google Doc uh, features here. So if I go over to a blank document, um, so there's a couple of different things. So the templates, it's one that we talked about right off the bat. Right, so we could scroll down, we could see all of these different templates here. Um, I'm gonna just kind of scroll through, you could see what these all look like, because they're really helpful. Um, FAQs, and all these will be a little bit different in terms of how they get laid out, um, but I highly recommend checking them off. Project requirements, project brief, project kickoff, um, trackers, reading list, a technical guide, a to-do list. Um, I recently used this project kickoff, so I'm gonna click that so you can see what that looks like. It says, great, this is what this looks like for this first tab. And then you can see there's, or, or this other page, and then you can also see the team and stakeholders. I'm gonna do the kickoff and hit insert. Um, and you can see we have all of this great stuff here. Um, and if I click this on the sidebar, I get all those different headers there that gets shown as well. Or I can go between two different tabs 
to look at the project team and the stakeholders as well, which is really, really cool to be able to have all of this kind of built out already for me and I can go and um, utilize this if I need to. I'm gonna go ahead and now pull up those building blocks that we talked about. So if I go insert and I go, let's make a new tab. If I go insert and I go building blocks, there's a bunch here you can see, but you could also just go to view more and you got that nice sidebar that I was showing you before. So under feature, there's a couple of different things. There's the AI summary of the document, uh, meeting notes, email draft and tracker. Those are the featured ones. And then here are those different um, categorized ones. So let's talk about project management for a second. You can see there's a couple of different things. Task tracker, review, directory, project assignments. Um, and what's great is this already has smart chips dropped down and uh, created for you. But of course you can edit, but it's nice that they're already there. Um, content launcher, um, and all that stuff. And there's a lot more. There's even stuff for coding, a coding block. You can create your own custom building blocks as well. Um, communication, you have the email draft or a poll. Um, lots of good stuff in here. Great, so I'm gonna go ahead, create a document. And I see this Gemini pop up, right? So it says, describe a document you wanna create. So I'm going to uh, make something here. So uh, uh, roadmap, or let's do a game show or uh, promoting my secret cookie recipe. Let's see if I can find my secret cookie recipe. Recipe, my secret cookie recipe. Oh, so, uh, my secret recipe. And then I'm gonna hit create. Let that spin for a moment or two. It's gonna go ahead and um, give me some details there. Remember it's doing a lot of the work and it's also referencing that doc that I use that little at symbol to go ahead and tag into this prompt. Okay, great. So uh, let's see what it came up, right? So we got the big header there, our oatmeal cookie recipe. I love that has raisins. Um, um, we have a couple of secret cookie challenge. The announcer voice, the announcer voice, here's the challenge. Round one, the ingredient scrabble. Look at this, this is hilarious. Round two, riddle me this. Round three, so it did make a secret cookie challenge game. Winner takes all, it's got the different headers. So like, th is this perfect? Maybe, maybe not. Um, it's actually kind of fun that it created, it used a, a fun font um, for a game show as well. It had a couple of different things that it threw in here. Um, so, right, so take that and you can go ahead and riff off of that to go ahead and personalize it and make it your own. All right, so that's it for our December 2024 updates. Be on the lookout for our January 2025 video uh, for more things to come in the new year. Thanks for listening.